Welcome back to another episode of Easy Peasy Labeling with me, Melissa. Today, this is part two of the Label Editor series going over creating self-laminating labels. Now, previously, I showed you how to create them using the self-laminating function within the new open screen here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can customize the self-laminating labels using the import feature. All right, so you can see I'm in the label editor software and I'm going to use the import feature. Okay, so we're not gonna click on the self-laminating feature for this application. Go check out the previous video if you wanna see that. For this one, we're gonna use the import. Now in this scenario, I already have a spreadsheet with all of the label information created. And maybe that's true for you, but you can freeform type it in if you prefer to. From this screen, we've got our printer selected and our supply, and we're gonna go ahead and click on that import feature. Now it says, okay, Melissa, do you wanna load the information, which means browse my computer and find the spreadsheet, or do you want new import data, which basically is just gonna give me a blank spreadsheet? Well, I'll spare you the hassle of watching me type information in and we'll browse to that spreadsheet. So I'm gonna click load, and now it just brings up the browse box. So browse on your computer to where that spreadsheet is. Mine is right here. All right, I'll click open. And now it's asking me if I wanna add this to the current information or if I want to override this. Now, right now, it really doesn't matter which one I pick, but often I see people will create this template, if you will, and they'll use the same base template, but the spreadsheet changes from job to job. So in that scenario, you're probably gonna to wanna to select overwrite. That's gonna keep the formatting your same template, if you will, but it's just gonna swap out the actual information from the last job for the one for the new one. If we select add to current data, it's gonna keep the current list that you have and just add on to it. So again, you pick whichever applies for your application. I'm gonna select overwrite and it'll think for a minute, and now it's gonna bring me up this screen. This is really just a snapshot of your information. Is this what you were expecting? Yes, it is. Now, if your spreadsheet or your Excel file has multiple sheets, you can access them here. That's what this dropdown is, but for this one, I just have the one, and this is exactly what I was expecting, so I'm just gonna enter through this screen. Just hit okay. All right, now you'll see it's gonna think for a minute and now it has brought up my spreadsheet. So you can see I've got two columns of information. I have a column A and a column B. Now this is set up to be two lines of information. So column A is going to be line one and column B is going to be line two. So now with the self laminating feature, it automatically put the text up on the label for us. But remember, we're doing this one manually. So we also have to drag the information up there. And this is nice because you have full control over it. You can put that text wherever you want it. If you wanna put other things on your label, maybe you need your company logo or some other image or information, you've got full control of that here. To get the information from our spreadsheet up onto our label, all I have to do is go to the top of the column that I want. So I'm gonna go to the top of column A, you'll see my cursor becomes a hand, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag that up to my label. Now, it's put that on there, great. I can make this whatever size I want and go ahead and put it anywhere on the label. Now, right now, the label is on an auto length, so it's just gonna make it as long or as short as whatever I put in. But I actually wanna make this a preset length, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the length feature here, and I'm gonna click manual, and I'm gonna set this to one and a half inches. So 1.5 and hit return. All right, now it's applied that to my label. And now again, I can move this text box anywhere I want. And I know for this application that I want both lines of text to be 10 point and bold. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. So I'm gonna select this one to be 10 point and bold. And then kind of a tip that I like to do is I like to make the text box go all the way through the printable area. And I like that option because if you're like me and your data changes, it's not always two or three the same number of characters. Maybe some are longer, some are shorter. And this way it's not gonna try to crunch that information into a certain 
size. So I did that, you'll see I just stretched it throughout the, um, to go throughout the printable area there. And now it's gonna take anything in column A and it's gonna put it in that box. So now let's do the same thing with column B. We're gonna grab column B, again, put it at the top of the column, the cursor becomes a hand, I'm gonna click and drag, and then I'm just gonna drop it on there. And again, this one I want the same. I want it to be 10 point bold. Now, I'll show you a tip. If you want, you can edit both of these boxes at the same time. You'll see right now, just the one text box has what I call the blue buttons around it, but I can highlight both of these boxes and I can adjust them both at the same time. Okay, so there's a little trick if you wanna save yourself some time. You can certainly work smarter, not harder. So again, I want 10 point bold and I want it to be centered. Perfect, okay. And then I can also, uh, again, I can move these around. I'll show you another cool feature while I have both of these text boxes highlighted. You can go up here and I can select to align them. So I can align them with each other. I can align them on the label and really just customize these, make this a nice looking label. So again, you can move these however you want, wherever you want on the label and wherever I put them is where it's gonna fill in everything for that column. So let's take a look here, right? We've kind of got our label formatted. So I wanna show you that as you click around on the spreadsheet, it will change to reflect whatever cell you're on. So you can kind of use that as a preview. Another really helpful thing is over on this right hand side panel, you'll see just above the print button is it tells me what label I'm on. Right now it says 10 of 158. So that tells me not only what label I'm looking at, but it also verifies to me how many cells of information that I have on here. This is 158. Now for me, I'm always looking and checking these numbers. So that is exactly how many cells I was expecting to have. So I know all of my data's here and I have everything that I need. You can also use this like a preview. So as I click the arrows left and right, it's gonna just scroll through the spreadsheet and show me each of those. So if you're the type that likes to double check everything, this is a great print preview feature. Now we're going through, everything fits, looks really nice. If you need to make any changes, you can, but if you're ready to push print, you can go ahead and do that. So this is great, this is exactly what I needed for my label, I'm ready to push print. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the print button. Now often with self-laminating labels, I find that people need two copies of each. And that's exactly true. You don't have to have the spreadsheet have two copies of every cell. Um, that would be a little redundant. We can just tell it that we need two copies. So that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and set that here number of copies to two. The software also knows that we're using the import feature. You can see that it has this box checked for us and I can choose to print all of the data or I can choose to print only the data that I've checked in the data creation window. Now, what does that mean? Let me show you. So we'll go back to our spreadsheet here and you see next to the rows, the numbers going down, there's these little blue check boxes. So that's what that is. If I wanna print the whole list, Great, just push print. But if you need to pick and choose and only print certain ones, maybe you lost a couple or you need to go back and just print a few, maybe you've added some or taken some away, whatever that is, you can also pick and choose which ones you want. So that's how you do that. So I'm gonna go back to that print so you could just see what that is. Uh, so again, we want our number of copies to be two. The data importing here, again, on this scenario, I want it to print all of them, but if I wanted it to only print the ones that I've checked, I would just select that option here. Now, when I print two copies of these labels, and remember, I have 158 labels and I need two copies of them. So where is that second copy going to be? I certainly don't want my second copy of the first label to be all the way at the end of the 158. That would be annoying to find. So once I have my copies set to any number other than one, I can set the print order. And that's right here. So you'll see the default is gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. But that's not what I want for this scenario. So what I'm gonna select is to uncoalate, and now it's gonna print the labels one, one, two, two, three, three. That's gonna be much more helpful when I go to apply these labels. So I'm gonna select that, and then when I'm ready, I'm just gonna hit print. 
Now for this application, I'm actually using the rewinder with this. Now this is only available with the Z printers, so either the Z5010PX or the Z5000PX, and it's this optional attachment. So what it's going to do is it's gonna take my printed labels and it's gonna wind them up into a nice roll. This is especially helpful when you're printing a whole bunch of labels. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna feed out about a foot of tape and then it pauses the job and says, okay, put it on the rewinder. So I'll do that now. I'm just gonna come up here, I'm gonna grab the tape, I'm gonna lift this up and I'm just gonna slide it into the slot here. It has the arrows, I just slide it in, perfect. And then I can put the piece back on. All right, give it a little turn. And now when I'm ready, just go ahead and press resume printing. Perfect. Now is that time where you can go ahead and walk away from your label. This is gonna print when you come back, all of your labels, all 200 and some of them will be printed and ready for you. So that was part two of creating self-laminating labels using the Label Editor PC software. If you have questions on this feature or any of the printers or supplies that we have, we would love to chat with you. Thanks again and happy labeling.